Uh, they've had a pretty good camp so far. They're uh, <laughs> competing. I've been, I've been pretty pleased with them. Transitioning from a 3-4 to a 4-3, what has been guys' biggest adjustment? <laughs> we're, we're, we're more getting off the ball now, whereas last year there was a little bit more set and read type um, deal. Uh, but I think they're enjoying it. You know, uh, the way we play defense, we allow those guys to blow and go. And I think it fits their personalities too. With your guys, does it matter which side they line on? Is there like a guy always plays on the left, a guy always plays on the right? Yeah, we have a guy that always plays to the field and a guy that always plays to the boundary. Correct, yeah. So we're probably our faster guy to the field, obviously. And our bigger end is into the boundary. You didn't have Josh back in the spring. How's he come along? I'm good. You know, he's a little rusty, to be honest with you. A little rusty. He got to knock the rust off. Uh, but you can see he's got some talent. What does he need to improve on? Well, I mean, just to get the rust off, you know. Um, Again, he didn't get to go through spring, so everything's new to me. The good thing is he's a really smart kid. He was in all the meetings, um, so he hasn't really dropped off too bad. It's the physical part of it, just hat and hands, feet, all the little details. How about Janarius? How's he coming along? He's, going, he's doing good. Uh, j Rob's doing well. I'm pleased with j Rob. You know, he needs to become more consistent. Uh, that's my whole plea to him every day. Uh, but there's, there's times at practice when you watch him and you go, wow, wow. And then he needs to do that all the time. If that makes sense. What do you think Brian needs to do this year to take his game to the next level? Well, I mean, obviously playing the run. Uh, and he's working extremely hard at it. Uh, every time we have a drill, like inside drill or that, he turns it up because he knows that that's probably a little bit of his liability. And he's working extremely hard at, at uh, making sure that's not a knock on him. Xavier Peters is out here now, and he's been a couple days late. What have you done to kind of get him caught up? Well, <laughs> trying to meet with him a little bit extra. He actually gets to go out in shells today. So I'm going to throw him in there a little bit. And He's way, way behind, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, athletically, I can't wait to see him. What position do you have him lining up? Flash. Uh, he'll be a field in. Gotcha. Yeah, a field in. Coach, how do you anticipate that the new retro rule will affect how you kind of manage your well, That'll be a, that'll be a coach tag question, you know. Um, it's something that we're going to have to address, there's no doubt. And that's what this camp's all about, trying to build some depth. Um, thus far, I've been really impressed with Dennis Briggs. I mean, he, 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 has, he has a chance to possibly get in the rotation. And if we have injuries or what have you, maybe get in the mix. I know, speaking of that, I mean, the new guys you got coming, you got some really big defensive ends coming in terms of stature, weight, and all that kind of right. thing. Obviously, Burns is a little different animal Correct. the way he's built. But, I mean, is that something you kind of prefer just because of the ability to contain and all have the bigger defensive ends? Well, I mean, we like the bigger guys into the boundary. You know, those are our run stoppers. And, uh, and we like, like our speed guys to the field, obviously. You know, and and uh, Josh and Brian are out to the field. I'm flipping J-Rob back and forth. He's learning both. And obviously, Wally's into the boundary, and Dennis is into the boundary. And, and, and J-Rob's into the boundary as well. But I'm dual teaching. We're dual teaching J-Rob right now, both positions. Yeah. Obviously, you guys have to work closely with the tackles. How helpful is it to have a guy like Demarcus Christmas in there who's a veteran who knows what he's doing? Is he helping you guys along a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good to have guys that know what to do in there, you know. And, and I'm challenging my guys with the young guys inside. We need to help them. We need to help them, you know, because uh, there's a lot of stuff being thrown at those young kids right now. And some of them are running with the twos. So I, I'm challenging our guys to help them. What's it like working with Odell? Oh, it's great. I mean, Odell's awesome, you know. That's my dude. He's uh, been around a while, just like I have. And, and uh, he knows this place. He knows these kids. He knows their personalities. Uh, and that helps me a little bit when I'm coaching, you know. When do you when do you push and when do you hug? You know, and he helps me in that aspect quite a bit. Thanks, coach. Thanks, guys.